We had a storm pass through here recently. Nobody would think that any of this was particularly arranged on purpose. You know, it's just a jumble. Here's a stick here, there's a stick there, a stone there. But Micah believes other things in nature could not have arranged themselves randomly. They appear to be the work of a designer. Just as these sticks didn't randomly arrange themselves into the word life, Michael doesn't believe biological life came together randomly either. I'm a biochemist, and so I see evidence in nature, in places where most people don't think about it, but it's in the cell. The cell is a fantastic nanoscale factory with machinery, literally machines made out of molecules. Michael studies the structure of bacteria. Some bacteria have tails called flagella that allow them to swim. It is quite literally an outboard motor that bacteria use to swim. And just like an outboard motor in our everyday life, it's got clamps to hold it onto the bacterial membrane. It's got a propeller that spins round and around. Turns out if you remove one or more of these pieces, the flagellum doesn't work at all. The complicated structure of bacterial tails led Michael to develop a theory he calls irreducible complexity. It claims that living systems need all of their parts in order to work. They can't evolve piece by piece. So Darwin's theory requires this gradualism where some feature of biology is built up slowly over time. But with an irreducibly complex system, that means uh, a system that has a number of components, you can't build it up gradually over time and, and have it work. If the tail of the bacterium was missing just one part, the whole thing wouldn't function. Michael doesn't think organisms could have made such leaps of complexity through evolution alone.